the broadcasters and everyone else. So it's an issue of uh, be, we being able to deal with the situations as they arise in a more informed and uh, other than that in a more reasonable way to an extent that we shouldn't create room for losses to the country and uh, also losses to our image as a nation. Well, that's yes. very true. Let's talk about the efforts that the Kenya Film Commission makes mm -hmm. in terms mm -hmm. of promoting what filmmakers mm -hmm. do. You know, it's mm -hmm. a creative industry, as yes. you just mentioned. Yes. And it might be challenging because it's a mm -hmm. growing industry. Mm -hmm. What um, factors have you put in place to actually buffer um, the filmmakers against the tides of, um, let's say, changing times, against the tides of an ever-growing demand of films, in not just in Kenya, but around the world? Thank you. As you rightfully put it, I, I just want to assert the fact that this is an emerging industry in Africa, and more so in Kenya, and there is a uh, need for more focus on supporting this particular industry. Looking at our programs, we focus on uh, creating more skills within the industry so that we are able to produce more content that meet the demand of the market. We are also looking at uh, the film incentives. Why film incentives? Uh, countries all over the world today are priding on film incentives to attract more productions in their country. And if more productions are done in Kenya, there are more benefits. Our country is exposed uh, in a positive way. We are able to nurture more skills from experience. We are also able to tell our stories. And um, what a better way to market a country than to, to do it through film. Most films that have been done in this country in early years have marketed this country up to now. Uh, in the long run, it's a cheap way of marketing a country and also creating employment. So we are constantly collaborating with the counties to ensure that the skills that are required are available, the stories that are being told are being told in a more professional manner, and also for the incentives upon implementation, Kenya will be more competitive, meaning we'll have more stories being told and uh, Kenyan stories being exported. Other than that, uh, we know the level at which the film industry is in Kenya. The Commission has established uh, a resource centre, and this resource centre is there to support our local filmmakers. Today, any producer mm -hmm. who has a project can uh, be able to book an appointment with the Commission uh, for space, which we provide for free, for one to come and utilise that space at any given time, as long as it is free. This space offers free internet, we offer uh, resources in terms of softwares that will help one to produce uh, uh, a budget for filming, scheduling and all that. We have subscribed to these softwares to support the industry. Other than that, an office working space that will also enable a filmmaker to conveniently uh, do his or her own project. So my appeal is to just ask the film industry uh, fraternity to utilize these facilities that we have put in place. Besides this, capacity building, okay. workshops, okay. Uh, programs that we undertake on a regular basis. Every quarter we have two capacity building workshops taking place in counties. Mm -hmm. And all this is basically about creating the Kenyan story available and also being able to have more international films coming in and being supported by the Kenyans. Briefly, before we conclude, yes. the yes. global film space and mm -hmm. how Kenya can actually manipulate that. We have the likes of Lupita Nyong'o coming yes. from yes. Kenya. How can mm -hmm. we use such um, individuals to actually plan and leverage and broaden the scope of mm -hmm. the film industry players right now in Kenya in the capacity of the KFC? Thank you. Um, and once again, I must say the Commission has many programs in place. You've heard of Kalasha International yeah. Film and TV Market. The essence of this market is to have international filmmakers coming into this country so that they can be able to do business with the Kenyan filmmakers. We know the Commission cannot afford to have local filmmakers go to the international film markets because of costs that are inherent. But when we create this platform, we are able to have international filmmakers come here, buyers and sellers, and create that room for networking, business contacts, and all. Other than that, we have our own Kalasha Awards that are coming up on 24th of November this, uh, this year. We award 
local filmmakers to put in more oomph so that we have more productions happening uh, in the country. Okay. And the more we have this kind of programs, we are saying that uh, we want our stars to continue aspiring to be the Lupita that we, we know. And again, Lupita today is one of uh, Kenyans who has uh, reached that particular peak Definitely. stage of uh, the international scene. Yes, yes. As a country, okay. that's a tool for marketing. Well, definitely. I'm sure mm. the Kenyan Film Commission will definitely mm. be keen on marketing the Kenyan industry, exactly. the film industry. Yes. Thank you so much for making Thank time. Thank you for having me. That is Timothy Owasi.